Hello everybody, Chad here with Griffin Pops. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> been a little while since I've made any videos. Been so busy and sick. Got my transmission back in my truck. Got it all going. It's just been crazy around here. Smoking my Sean Ring's pipe. Uh, cobra egg and in it today i'm smoking some uh hu's uh edward g robinson it's pretty good uh it's a or it's uh i'll be lying to you if i told you uh right off hand but i think it's got some uh virginia and burley and Orientals and maybe some Kentucky and maybe a little Cavendish. But I smoke some uh, Director's Cut. <clears throat> I really like it. Probably like it a little better than this. This is almost just a tiny bit too floral, fresh, I don't know, uh, citrusy maybe. Tin note, it smells awesome. Smells kind of like oranges or something like that. But uh, it's a it's a good tobacco for sure. But like I said, the director's cut, I think I like it a little better. Well, I <clears throat> got up early this morning, drinking my coffee and looking at Facebook and seen that uh, there's a, somebody had a big grizzly uh, dust collector, excuse me, <clears throat> dust collector. And uh, it was brand new or like brand new, it looked like in the picture. So it got me excited because I've been needing a dust collector for my, my shop when I get it going and been looking for one. This one's two horsepower. Well, uh, I got uh, messaging them back and I got my clothes on because they, they only live less than a mile from me. And noticed they had a big wood lay too. And uh, I ended up getting a hold of them and uh, this is about 6.30 this morning. And they said their uh, yard sale didn't start till 8. And I asked them, is there any way they could hold it? And I said, or can I come early? And I said, I'm just right down the road. And she said, well, we're going to put, be putting her stuff out at uh, 7.30. You can come then. So I got over there uh, about 7.20. Sat there in the driveway for a few minutes. And they came out. And uh, I bought the uh, dust collector right there. They had it there. And they've got a machine shop they own. Uh, it's about seven or eight miles down the road. And they said the lathe was over there. And both of these pieces are brand new. And they only wanted $50 for the dust collector. And it's, I don't know, about an $800 dust collector. And uh, so I bought it. And I went and looked at the lathe. Ended up buying it. Uh, the, it's a lathe, a bunch of tooling. Uh, it, it's a wood lathe and a uh, copier. Like you can copy spindles or chair arms or certain pieces. But, uh, yeah, I was really tickled with the, the deal I got on that. I bought it all for less than what I could have bought the dust collector. I've uh, finally getting to get back to making a few pipes. Still ain't got my shop done. Trying to get it ready. And... Uh, Once I get it up and going, I'll be able to make 
some more pipes and get to going pretty good. But right now it's just, it's hard doing it out in the barn and trying to get time to do it. And it's cold and we're in the <clears throat> dogwood winter here right now. If you watched my last video, you heard me talking about the winters that the so-called winters we have. Uh, we've got blackberry and stump left. But when it's cold and nasty, I just don't get out there much and not felt like it. Finally starting to get over that cold and man, that has been one bad dude. And I still have some sinus problems from it, but uh, it was worse than having COVID. Uh, COVID didn't seem to last as long on me as this did, but just the, the sinus part has been bad, real bad. One thing about that tobacco, you have to do quite a few relights. And it needs some dry time. I didn't give it enough dry time. With the Edward G. Robinson blend, or I mean, I'm sorry, the Director's Cut blend from HU that I smoked the other day that was real good. It's a uh, Virginia, Kentucky, and a Burley, I think is what it is. And it's real good, like I said. And it wasn't as bad about relax as this. But back to the pipes, hopefully I can start getting some stuff done. Uh, I've got probably seven to do right now that I said I wasn't taking no commissions. And I'm not really doing the commissions. Uh, just everybody that's wanting one just kind of give me open range just kind of the basic shape and for me to do them so i'm gonna try to get those done hopefully within the next month and uh, then i'm going to get back to just making some that i really want uh, just to do myself and uh, i'm going to do try to do a few uh videos on uh uh, VRs for some people that's got stuff going right now. Not really interested in being entered in any giveaways, but just do the VRs for them. Uh, <clears throat> Flat Cap Popper's got one going on. Uh, I believe it's Bill Keach. He done done his, but I'm going to do a VR for him anyways. Uh, Trying to think, I know there's some more that I'm missing and trying to keep caught up with all the videos with everybody, but man, it's just so hard. Uh, but uh, trying to, I've not wrote nothing down, so I'm just trying to remember some of the stuff I was wanting to go over in my head. I know... Uh, I've got a couple, I'll be doing a couple videos, keep your eye out for them. One is uh, Ghost Cobb's Traveling uh, Box of Blends, and uh, then uh, Tim's School of Pipes has got one that's coming to me. It's uh, just a blend uh, pass around, and I've got a few good ones that I'm going to put in it, so you guys that come after me, uh, there'll be a few in there that uh, I'm sure that people really like to have that's kind of hard to come by that I'm going to put in there. And uh, <clears throat> the uh, Black Cap Piper was talking in his uh, video about uh, what we could do to make the YTPC better. Uh, or help it. And uh, one thing, and 
it, it's kind of what he's doing this week or I think it's this weekend in Chicago but uh, I think what us guys at the pop community the YouTube pop community should do is maybe uh, when we get to the shows we we miss people you know and we ought to maybe have a try to have a meetup like he's doing on this one and, and get name tags, you know, and maybe do color, different colors, like say, hello, my name is so-and-so, and either do like a color of uh, marker that wrote in your name as a presenter or a uh, just a uh, just a YouTube watcher or, or something like that, and kind of that way we can tell who's what. I think that would kind of be neat. And you, if you spotted somebody with a name tag, you'd know that there's uh, associated with YouTube. And uh, for I'm gonna do a real quick thing for Sharp Thing Saturday. Uh, I showed a uh, my uh, Bradford USA knife not too long ago. A couple of things on it. This I'm just going to touch on this. Uh, some bad qualities I found on that knife after using it for a while. It's bad for the uh, the edge itself have micro chipping in it and of just light use, and I don't like it. I've changed my sharpen angle on it. It was like an 18 degree. I've changed it closer to a 20 degree, and it might even been closer to a 15 degree originally, but I've changed it to a a 20 degree and it's got a more of a steeper angle on it so it's not chipped as bad this time as usual and the uh the only thing i've got against it other than that is uh i wish they would do a better kydex holster you can buy one from them but it's just so hard to get in and out and i bought one of those and i don't use it i use my leather one that came with it more but uh, that's my little thing for Sharp Thing Saturday. Uh, I've not done no Freedom uh, Friday stuff lately. Just been so busy. And hopefully once I get my shop done, I can do some more videos. And uh, be able to do a few more of those. Uh, kind of hesitant. I love the Freedom Friday thing. But I'm kind of hesitant to putting what I've got out there. Because... You know, you when you do, the bad thing is you've got video proof of what, what kind of guns you've got. And I know they probably know exactly almost everything I got because most of it was bought through the system. But still, it's just one of those things that you just hate to, to put it out there. But I really like the idea of the Freedom Friday. And... Uh, you know, with, uh, and, oh, I forgot to mention, thank you, Paul Bear, for the, uh, 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 Team Freedom sticker that I got, and, uh, I'm gonna put it on my truck on, with all of my, uh, government stickers on there, but, uh, well, hey, this video's getting on up to about 14 minutes, so I'm gonna cut it off here, and uh, be on the lookout this week. I'm going to try to get a few videos of some uh, VRs. And uh, we'll catch you later. Remember, we're all brothers of the leaf. Try to bless somebody. I've definitely been blessed myself this week. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>